The clockmaster was about to fix the pendulum of a clock when, to his surprise, he heard the pendulum speak. Please, sir, leave me alone, the pendulum pleaded. It will be an act of kindness of your part. Think on the number of times I will have to tick day and night. So many times each minute, 60 minutes an hour, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, year upon year. Millions ticks. I could never do it. But the clockmaster answered wisely, do not think of the future, just do one tick at a time and you will enjoy every tick for the rest of your life. And that is exactly what the pendulum decided to do. It is still ticking merrily away. This little story is just to introduce us to today's theme, distractions. And do, what do they have to do with mindfulness and the search for peace and inner silence? Well, the reality is that the doorways of the present moment are guarded by a simple array of distractions that works in tandem with the prayer word. Together, they open the doorways into the silent land. These distractions are like riddles that must be answered before the door will open, as Martin Ladd would say. I don't know about you, but I used to take distractions as something negative, able to take my attention away from what really mattered in my life. However, if you free yourself and are able to take distractions as the riddles of Solomon's sages, you will discover that they teach you a great deal about your spiritual life. But they need to be answered by your inner life more than your reasoning. And I'm not talking about the usual uh, distractions we have in our daily life when I'm uh, thinking of work or shopping or what I'm going to do with my children or my husband or my wife. Uh, no, I'm, we're talking about our thoughts and our feelings. So I'd like to walk you through the first riddle you and I face on our way to the first doorway to the doorway to inner silence and peace. The question would be, are you your thoughts and your feelings? Well, if you think you are, uh, you identify with them and react while paradoxically have little awareness of them. I will suggest you then to observe your feelings and your thoughts. Don't judge, don't engage and therefore don't react to them. It may be that your experience is that when you turn within to search for peace, you just find chaos, and so you run away for any attempt to get into a contemplative life. Well, this is why it's important to practice mindfulness and meditation as a way of reducing the amounts of words concepts and images to the minimum to make space for inner life. That's why meditation helps us to do it. And how do we do it? How do you do it? How do you can do it? Well, you can use a mantra or a prayer word, as we may call it in Christian terms, and combine it with your breath. The peace will come, but it will be the fruit not of pushing away your distractions, but of meeting thoughts and feelings with stillness instead of commentary.